This video is about how to get rid of a headache. Yes, a headache. There are many reasons behind it. Maybe it's after a BIOS update, there is a power failure, or your phone freezes, or you just turn on the PC and it's already warning you to free up space. All the drives are full and they are red. That alone can give you a headache. Maybe you are using a MacBook with 1TB of storage or a desktop with limited space because SSDs are still expensive. In the meantime, the resolution of photos and videos are increasing every day. In situations like this, the solution is to reduce file sizes. That way you can free up space and make it easier to upload videos to YouTube, Instagram or the web where smaller file sizes matter, especially when software like Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve or others export very large video files. So let's see how we can reduce file size like videos or audios without losing quality and finally get rid of that digital headache. There are a lot of compressor software out there, some are free and some are paid and as you probably know free ones often come with limitations and are not ideal for professionals. When it comes to paid software, it's important to choose something that gives you real value for money. Like my favorite Wondershare Inu Converter. It's easy to use and it is an all-in-all software packed with advanced AI tools. These include a video or image enhancer, thumbnail maker, text-to-speech generator, subtitle editor, vocal remover, noise reducer, watermark remover for both video and images, and of course essential features like a compressor, converter, basic video editor, screen recorder, and more. So any converter could be the right choice for you. It has almost every tool you need in one place. Now let's see just how easy it is to use. Once you open Unicorn Butter, you will see a clean, user-friendly interface. It feels just like home. By clicking on video, audio or image, you can access all the tools related to each type of media. If you don't have on the share Unicorn Butter yet, just check the video description for the download link and other details. Now let's head over to the compressor section on the left since this video is focused on compressing videos without losing quality. Here you can add or drag files to start the compression. But I will show you the fastest way to reduce file size of multiple videos by adding a whole folder. To do that, click on down arrow icon next to the add files button. You will see three options add video, add audio or add folder. Click on add folder and a pop-up window will appear. First look at the folder destinations, then select the folder you wanna add. Stand the all the videos in that folder will be added to Uniconverter. Now the videos are ready to be compressed using the default settings. On the left side of each added video, you can see the original settings and on the right side, you see the compression settings. Don't worry, it won't increase your headache, you are free to tweak the settings for more precise control. Take the first video as the example, its original format is MOV. By the way, Unicomputer supports over 1000 formats including 4K, 8K and HDR. The current file size is 51 MB with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and the duration of 31 seconds. On the right side, all the output settings are the same except the file size which now shows 35 MB. That means it's going to compress the video. The same settings around 70% is applied to all videos by default. There is also another option at the top called high speed conversion. Make sure all the checkbox are selected here if you want faster processing. Now let's look at how to fine tune the output or export settings. To do that, click the resize button, a settings tab will appear. At the top, the compression mode is set to basic compression by default. If you prefer, you can switch to AI compression. Just below that, you will see a slider to adjust the compression percentage. To the left of the slider, you will see the minimum file size, in this case 5.58 MB. And to the right, the original size is 51.15 MB. The slider is set to 70% by default. Sliding it to the left will reduce the file size and you can see the estimated size updated live as you adjust. For this video, let's keep it at 70% which looks good. If you want, you can also change the format from MOV to MP4. Once you are happy with the settings, click OK to confirm. Now let's look at the second video. Its original size is 192MB and the compress size is set to 134MB by default. Since I need to send this to a client just for review, I think reducing the size further would be better. So I'll set the compression to around 25% which brings it down to around 48MB, much more manageable. After setting that, I'll click OK to confirm and you see the output settings have updated and the new file size is reflected. Next choose where to save your compressed videos, just click the folder icon and select your destination. Once everything is ready, hit the compress button. In my case, the compression process completed in just a few seconds. 
After the completion is complete, you can it takes you to the finished tab where you can see all the videos now reduced in size. There is also another useful option here. If you want to enhance your video quality, Uniconverter has built-in AI tools for that as well. I have a dedicated video on how to enhance low-quality videos using Uniconverter's AI Video Enhancer. You can find the link in the video description or click i button at the top right corner to watch it. Now let's click on one of the videos to preview it and check the quality. It looks great, every video quality has been kept intact. Let me now show you a side-by-side -side comparison so you can clearly see the difference between the original and the compressed versions. So my final thoughts on Ondesha Unique Converter, honestly the results are impressive as we have been seen, even after compression there are no noticeable drop in quality. Unique Converter is a fantastic all-in-on solution if you work with videos, photos or audio files regularly. Whether you need to compress, convert, enhance or edit, it has everything in one place. I highly recommend giving it a try, you can experiment with the free version first and see how it works for you. All the download links and details are in the video description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.